Hello, crafty friends. It's Terry with Terry's Mailbox, and I'm here today to present this altered wooden box. Um, again, I used um, some of the Sizzix products. I used Bouquet and Brushstroke Flowers 2 dye to decorate it. So I started off with a wooden box. So again, you could purchase a box from um, one, you know, one of the hobby stores, or I just happen to have a cigar box laying around. So I put one layer of gesso on to begin with, and then I am adding white or gray chalk paint onto um, the top here, and that's going to be my base. So um, the box had some like embellishments in it, um, more of a texture. So I wasn't worried about those at all because I knew I was going to add the bouquet die cuts onto the top. So again, I'm just kind of ignoring those and moving on. And so I'm gonna work on the top here. And again, this is gray chalk paint, which I thought was a nice, um, nice soft color. So I'm just kind of finishing up the top here, adding that layer of gray paint. And so here I'm going to take those bouquet die cuts. I cut them out of a heavier cardstock, like 110 pound cardstock, so that, the, that they would be a little thicker. And I'm actually using a Distress Collage Medium to attach it. So again, I'm just kind of adding one of the, one of the uh, die cuts there and I had to move it here. It was a little bit crooked. I wasn't happy. So that's the cool thing about um, Distress Medium Collage is that, um, you know, it doesn't dry for a little while. It gives you a little bit of time uh, to get things lined up and together. So again, I'm applying that Collage Medium. And by the way, in the end, I did add a whole second layer um, onto the top. So here I'm kind of showing how I worked around that latch. I took the um, the strips that I had cut and I'm just kind of lining it up here and cutting out that hole and so I'll go ahead and apply that here You can see I left the edges of the top pieces hanging over and once they were dried I, I trimmed them off so here I'm working on the side and I'm just going to go ahead and apply that and then when it got to the corners, um, I basically kind of made the corner and bolded it and, um, you know, added enough of the medium that it uh, held it down. So I did all four sides of the box and the top, and you can see there I added a quarter inch strip on the top, on both the top and the bottom, because I had a gap and I wanted it to, to look more finished. So the next thing I'm doing is I'm adding hickory smoke distress crayon onto the top of the box. I wanted it to be a little bit softer, not grungy, just softer. So I'm coloring the top here with the, uh, with the hickory smoke crayon. And then you can see I got a puddle of water there on my craft mat and I am just rubbing it in to smooth it out. So again, I really, I really enjoyed doing this. Um, I did, before I started adding the crayon, I did add a second layer of the collage medium on the top to make sure that it was completely sealed and that my corners were down tight. So again, that really helped with um, the smoothness um, to be able to apply this, uh, the Distress Crayon. So just kind of finishing it up here, making sure I don't have any big blobs. Okay, so there's the box. It's covered on all, all four sides. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Brush Stroke Flowers 2, which is one of um, Tim Holtz's new Sizzix die sets, which is actually a layering um, die set, kind of like the Color Eyes. And um, I really liked this one. I thought it would be really pretty on the top of this box. So then I ended up, here is the, uh, the picture of the flowers that I'm going to use. And I'm going through my colors to select what I want to use. So again, I'm using kind of some pinks and purples and yellows. And then I chose this dusty green 
um, array for the flowers. So here's all my all my flowers are all cut out here and I ended up taking the hickory smoke uh, distressing and just kind of blending onto the edges just so they weren't quite so bright. So here's my completed flowers and leaves and again I'm going to set those aside here. Um, just wanted to just see how they looked once they were all layered and put together. So the next thing I decided to work on was the box top inside. There was a label there that I wanted to cover, so I used some three-inch um, double-sided tape and attached it to a piece of light gray cardstock. And then I'm using the aviary collage paper on here, and I centered, you know, little nest there. And the next thing I'm doing is just trimming it off. I did use my bone folder to rub it across the top to be sure that it was completely flat. Um, you know, that collage paper is very thin and sometimes you get little, little creases in it. But again, I didn't worry about them. I just used my, my bone folder to make sure it was smooth. So here you can see here, I cut it to a size that it just really fit right there in the, in the top of the box. I did end up using uh, the red double-sided tape to attach it. So here I pulled out my hot glue gun to attach the flowers. I was originally started with just the, um, you know, collage medium, but again, I didn't feel like it was going to hold well enough. Again, I've got so much texture on there with that bouquet die cut. So I wanted to make sure that my leaves attached. And um, it's a good thing hot glue gun stuff is clear because <laughs> otherwise I would have had a mess. So again, just kind of finishing up and adding, you know, adding the leaves in here, trying to figure out where, where's the best place to put them. I seriously thought about adding these little tiny guys, but then I decided that, eh, that probably wouldn't be too easy with the uh, hot glue gun. So I decided to go back to these other uh, dusty leaves and use them instead. So there we go, I'm happy with that. So there's the box, giving you a little inside peek. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm working on a word for the front. Um, my favorite word is gratitude. Um, I just think it um, expresses so much um, kindness. So what I'm doing is I actually cut out uh, three layers of all of the letters, or th you know, three letters of all of, the, <laughs> all of the letters, and I'm gluing them all together. This came from, the letters came from an Altenew, um die set. So again, here I am just kind of making sure they're all put together. I like to do things in triples. Um, I just think it gives them a lot of pop and a lot of dimension. So anytime I do sentiment dies, generally I am, you know, triple layering them. So again, I'm gonna move on. The next thing I'm going to do is again, use that collage medium to attach the, the letters here. So I kind of working, kind of working that R is just not behaving for me. It's really being being a problem. <laughs> so working on just getting getting the entire word on here and then I'll play with the spacing again since they're moving when I start brushing. So there we go. I think I'm happy with the spacement. Uh, I'm fixing the fixing the letters a little bit. I'm happy with the spacement spacing. So I decided to go ahead and uh, just throw one coat of the collage medium over the entire piece. I wasn't sure if I wanted um, just kind of raw flowers sitting there with no no protection on them. So I went ahead and covered the entire piece. So there's the finished box. So again, I'm real happy with the way this turned out. And again, this is Terry with Terry's Mailbox. I'm on YouTube, Blogger, 
Facebook, and Instagram. Would love to have you come and follow and subscribe. Be sure to hit the bell if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a great day.